This is KRCR News Channel 7 at 5.30. An unwelcome sight in a North State community. Trash scattered everywhere. Neighbors say enough is enough. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Scarborough. I'm Mike Mangus. People living in Old Shasta say their backyards are getting trashed. KRCR News Channel 7's Boris Sanchez went there today. Boris, what did you find? Well, Mike, Jennifer, everything from old tires and refrigerators to roofing tiles and equipment, and it's just not in one place. A lot of the dumping is scattered through the area, and as you can imagine, the neighbors are fed up. I mean, this is such beautiful country, and to ruin it like this is, is a real, it just makes me want to throw up. Norman Nelson lives just off Rock Creek Road, near Highway 299 in Old Shasta. He's enjoyed living near the wilderness for the past 10 years. Nelson says he's seen trash dumped near his home every now and then, but in the past month, he says the dumping has gotten out of control. And to have people coming out here and dumping their garbage, you know, refrigerators, and they're, they're, a lot of this stuff is old oil cans and, and all kinds of uh, uh, chemicals that are, I'm sure, hazardous. And these people are dumping them right at the where the water and the streams are coming off the hill, and they're running right into our drinking water, going into... The reservoir is going into Sacramento River and you know, right through Redding, and it's just terrible. The Nelsons say they have reported the dumping to authorities, but they haven't seen much of a response. Dumping has been a problem for years. Leslie Bryan works for the Western Shasta Resource Conservation District, an organization dedicated to preserving the natural resources of Western Shasta County. She says when public resources are scarce, catching dumpers isn't a law enforcement priority. In times like this where the budgets are so tight for so many agencies, really the best and most effective way is for the citizens to get together and clean it up themselves. Nelson and his wife Jesse say they and their neighbors have done their best to track whoever's dumping the trash, but with no luck. They're getting together to clean up the mess and just hope whoever's doing this gets the message that their trash isn't wanted here. The Nelsons and their neighbors say they can gather the volunteers for the cleanup. They just need a truck to haul the trash out. Until then, they say they'll keep their eyes peeled for whoever's causing the eyesore. Boris Sanchez, KRCR, News Channel 7.